This is my favorite mug. Okay, what is going on guys? Welcome to Dar Vihar. Please leave a like if you enjoyed that opening montage. Today, I want to talk about my daily life here in Spain. So, right now I'm working as an English teacher in Spain at La Universidad de Castilla-La Mancha. So, my job is to give English classes to university students. At the same time, I'm taking Spanish classes at the university. So my role is a little bit different because I'm a student and a teacher. So I usually start my day around 9 a.m. That's when I wake up, although I don't have classes until the late afternoon. So I have a lot of free time in the beginning of my day. And this is the time I use to work on my physical activity. So I wake up and the first thing I do is go for a hike. Cuenca was built in the mountains, you know, that medieval uh, strategy. How are you going to defend yourself from an army of knights? Well, you build on a mountain. Horses don't like going up mountains as much as flat ground. So you have an advantage right there. So yeah, I live on the side of a mountain and it's really easy for me to get access to nature. So every day I'm out in the woods walking and during this time, I like to listen to podcasts. Usually something like This American Life or some kind of self-development podcast. I gotta try DMT. So after my walk, I come home, I make myself breakfast, which is very simple. Only three ingredients, oats, banana, blueberries. It's delicious, I have it every single day. And I make myself a coffee using that nifty machine you saw in the opening sequence which is called a cafetera. So these devices are really common in Europe to make espresso. Uh, so the way I make it for my American tastes is I just add less coffee to make it weaker. I'm not drinking espresso every day. I'm good with the cafe americano. And so I have breakfast and that might look something like this. But in reality, it looks a little bit more like this. Back with more of the best of Europe. This time, we're enjoying some rich musical culture and a whole lot more. Land of Portugal. Thanks for joining us. If you don't know Rick Steves, he's like the Bob Ross of travel. Okay, so after breakfast, I got my morning walk. I got some fuel in me. Now I'm ready to hit the gym. Um, so. Spain has been in a state of alarm since late October. And basically what that means is there's a lot of restrictions still because of coronavirus. So uh, masks obviously are mandatory in gyms, supermarkets, malls. Um, a lot of places are closed or closed early like bars and restaurants and cinemas. And we can't really get together in big groups Although, for my classes, we are able to get together in groups of up to 25. Sometimes, because of the state of alarm, uh, the gyms were closed because there was a higher level of cases. And so, uh, luckily here in Cuenca, there is a calisthenics gym. So I went to the park and was able to get a workout there. Okay, so when I come home from the gym, take a shower, eat lunch, and then I'm into Spanish class. So right now I'm working towards a C1 proficiency. Uh, in Spanish, which is basically, if A1 is beginner, C2 is native, it goes A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2. So I am trying to become bilingual. This summer I have the exam. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Then after Spanish class, we finish up around 4.30. Adios. 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 That's when I have time to prepare a little bit for my class that afternoon, my classes, or great assignments. Then in the late afternoon, that's when I have my classes. I have classes with university students and I'm teaching them at a B1 level, so intermediate English. We follow a book. Um, oh, hold on. This is the book we use. 
Cambridge B1 English and Power. And yeah, it has a lot of exercises. Uh, it has a lot of information, vocabulary. Basically, we just work on the exercises in the book, do listenings, do speaking activities. Um, yeah, I teach them English that way. So I don't have a car. So it feels like a lot of my time is spent walking. Quake is a small city, so it's easy to walk. It's easy to get around by walking. Um, but half of my day is spent walking. Walking to class, walking to the gym, walking in the woods, walking to the supermarket. It's a lot of walking. So not every day is the same because my classes change, the schedule is different. So on Mondays and Wednesdays, that's when I have my Spanish class. Tuesdays and Thursdays, I have a little bit more free time. So after I get done with the gym and before my class, that's when I'm preparing for my classes mostly, or that's when I'm grading assignments. Or if I have time, that's when I can work on my personal projects, like editing videos for YouTube, or working on my blog, or research for videos, or anything I can do to fill that time. So when I get out of classes, I come home, I eat dinner at 10 p.m. I know that sounds late, but in Spain, that's just normal dinner time. Yeah, that's when I um, kind of relax, unwind, and get ready for bed. Watch some Netflix, um, and that's about it. Get ready for my next day. So that's what my typical day in the life is like here in Spain. Um, nothing too interesting, but I figured I would share it for anyone who might be interested in coming to Spain and teaching English and seeing what the schedule's like. I'm definitely a part-time employee. I have more free time than most people. That's why I spend my time on YouTube and fitness. So for more content like this, leave a like, leave a comment, and let me know. How would you use your free time if you were teaching English part-time in Spain? All right, well, that's all. Until the next one, give travel. I'm out. Peace.